setting up a development server. If you wish to develop internet applications, but don't have your own development server, you will have to upload every modification you make to a server somewhere else on the web before you can test it. Even on a fast broadband connection, this can still represent a significant slowdown in development time. On a local computer, however, testing can be as easy as saving an update. Once you have your own development server, you will wonder how you ever manage without one, and it's easy to set one up. What is a WAMP, MAMP, or LAMP? WAMP abbreviation for Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. MAMP abbreviation for Mac, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. LAMP abbreviation for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. These abbreviations describe a fully functioning setup used for developing dynamic internet web pages. WAMP, MAMP, and LAMP come in the form of a package that binds the bundled programs together so that you don't have to install and set them up separately. This means you can simply download and install a single program and follow a few easy prompts to get your web development server up and running in the quickest time with the minimum hassle. During an installation, several default settings are created for you. The security configurations of such an installation will not be as tight as on a production web server because it's optimized for local use. For these reasons, you should never install such a setup as a production server. But for developing and testing websites and applications, one of these installations should be entirely sufficient. If you choose not to go to the WAMP, MAMP, and LAMP route for building your own development system, you should know that downloading and integrating the various parts yourself can be very time consuming and may require a lot of research in order to configure everything fully. After taking this long introduction about why we should have development server, let's have one. Installing WAMP on Windows. You can download it at www.wampserver.com. Once you have downloaded the installer, run it. Click Next. I accept the agreement. Click Next. Choose a folder for the installation. You are recommended to accept the default provided, unless you have a good reason to choose a different one. Check these options if you want to have WAMP server shortcut icon around. Click Next. When you click the install button, an installation will begin. Please choose your default browser. If you are not sure, just click Open. In that case, I will use Mozilla Firefox as my default browser. Click Next for default PHP mail parameters. Installation finished. Click Finish and you will see WAMP server running. Now you are ready to start using WAMP. Accessing MySQL There are three main ways in which you can interact with MySQL using a command line via web interface such as phpMyAdmin and through programming language like PHP. For now, let's look at the first option accessing MySQL by the command line. If you installed WAMP, you will be able to access the MySQL executable from the following directory. By default, the initial MySQL user will be root and will not have had a password set. So, to enter MySQL's command line interface, select Start, Run, Enter CMD into the Run box and press Return. This will call up a Windows command prompt. From there, enter the following. MySQL space switch u space root this command tells mysql to log you in as user root without password you will now be logged into mysql and can start entering commands 
so to be sure everything is working as it should be enter the following show databases semicolon you are now ready to move on to the next tutorial to learn more about MySQL syntax and the different data types available there.